everybody, welcome back to another episode of Shane's Craft Beer Review. As you can see, I've got a special guest with me today. This is my buddy Jeff. Jeff, how's it going, buddy? Excellent, thanks for having me. Glad you could make it over, buddy. So today, Jeff and I were going to be taking on the Draft Nitro Stout. This is from the Cowbell Brewing Company out of Blaith, Ontario. 4.2% alcohol by volume. A uh, quick little write-up on the back here for you guys. Brewed with Canadian two-row malted barley, lots of cookie-like oats, dark chocolatey malts, and nitrogenated to elevate its silky smooth cocoa character. Pouring midnight black with a creamy dense mocha brown cap of foam, this delightful and complex beer is sure to please your palate. Does that sound good to you, buddy? It sounds fantastic. That sounds good to me. And they've included a beautiful little uh, CAD drawing of the brewery. Oh, yeah, right on the back. Yeah, yeah. 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 This I, don't head. I don't know if you guys can see yeah, that. Anyone can see and that. That's going to be out of focus. Yeah. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah. yeah. Neat little image there. All right, so let's get into these nitro-charged beers. Crack them open, see what we got. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I love that extra little it's sound the nitrogen ones make at the end. Good. That's kind of cool. Good go there. All right. Let's see if we can get some light on this one. Do a little hard pour for my buddy Brian. All right. Not uh, a whole lot of head to smoke no. of off the start. Not really. But that's okay. It's a stout. They don't need to be all funny. And, I, and I, the one thing I do love about stouts, you guys probably can't see it's really cloudy, yeah, is that little the, ca the cascade effect that it does in there. There was not. I poured mine a little my, bit harder, yeah, I think. I got just, yeah, mine like, not so much. Yeah. Right, let's give it a quick little smell here. See what we got, man. A, bit well, a lot of chocolate. Yeah, like, like a, a dark chocolate, of, though, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of dark cocoa coming through this. Yeah. A yeah, bit of some roasty little, little malts. Little malts, yeah. Yeah, the roasted malts. Yeah. Smells fantastic, buddy. All right, well, yep. let's dip into it, guys. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. It's okay. Yep. Smooth, very smooth and creamy. Smooth. A little light for a stout. It is at four point two. Yeah. yeah. And a bit malt forward. Yes, but like I said, you can definitely Five. get the malt, like you said. Yeah. The coffee. Still a touch of a roasted chocolate in there. Not bad. It really reminds me of a Guinness, because this is pretty thin. It is. It's pretty yeah, thin for a stout. And I'm not a almost, big fan. Almost a little thinner than a Guinness. Yeah, it might even so. be thinner than a Guinness if that's a possibility. Do you guys know I'm not a fan of Guinness, not because of the flavor, because it's thin. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is actually pretty, it doesn't taste bad though, it's not a bad beer. No, no, not at all. It's quite nice. It's just thin. Um, would I buy another one? No, I don't think. So I went over to Jeff's house and he said, Here, Shane, here's a beer. Drink this. I'm going to drink it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There's nothing wrong with it. No, there's nothing wrong. It's just not right in my wheelhouse. If, if you were looking for a heavy stout, this is not the road you would go down. No, yeah, definitely not. It's, but, it's not going to warm you up. Yeah. Not going to warm you up at all. It's a, it'd be a nice summer stout. Yeah, actually, that's a, that's a good point. I think a yeah. summer stout would be when it's nice and hot out and you want yeah. something light, but you love your stouts. That's a good if you're, choice. If you're wanting that multi. Yeah, that exactly. Multi cut it did have a ball. Oh, no. Cocoa. This one does not have a ball in it. I was looking to see if it had the nitrogen ball. It's got the little cap thing at the bottom. Depends on what you get. Some of them have the actual nitrogen ball. All right, well, let's give this a rating here, Jeff. Um, I think on a scale of one to five, I'm going to drop this. And again, most of this, most of this rating is because it's too thin, not the flavor, just so you guys know. I'm going to rate this at a 2.75 out of 5. So just above average, only because thinness really annoys me in beers. What do you, uh, what would you like to rate this one at, I Jeff? think for, for a stout, that's a fair rating. Um, I might even go slightly lower. I'd give it a 2.6. Okay. So yeah. yeah, again, right around that average mark, guys. Just a little thin. Not terrible. Check it out if you get the chance. So Cowbell Brewing, Draft Nitro Stout. Once again, pretty can. Pretty can. That, that, yeah. yeah, that CAD, I didn't even yeah. notice until Jeff went out that CAD. It's got, uh, it's got some nice marketing, though. For sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Anyway, guys, Nitro Soap, check it out. Jeff, thanks for coming on the show, buddy. Thanks, man. It's been thanks awesome. Thanks for having me. No, no problem. Anytime. Cheers. Cheers. And we'll see all you guys next time. As you can see, I got a special gift. Again, fuck it. I can't there. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Shane's Craft Beer Review. As you can see, I got a special guest with you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Dense mocha brown cap of foam 
This delightful and complex beer is sure to be sure, sure, sure. I'm pretty <laughs> sure I'm going to yeah. do this whole fucking video again. I'm sure Are you sure? Take number 473. We'll take it in three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs>